Okay, now, this one right here, guys, we, this is big alternative. Kirby's going to play it. We're going to play it. Will's going to play it at South Carolina. Todd plays it at Florida. All right? And they're all probably, they, they would never come to a clinic and talk about this. All right? But they think they all invented it, I guess. But we all stole it from somebody, right? Everybody, that's what we do. We steal their stuff, okay? All right, so clip, okay? Clip is a way. Remember, stubby and stump, the corner to the field's playing what? By itself, right? All right, now we got a chance to flip it and roll up on the guy to the field, okay? And still get the backside guy what? Doubled, all right? We play this one as much as we play the other ones, okay? All right, so clip on the backside of three by one is still the same. Okay, we're playing Cone or Connie back over there based off the split of the X. Cone or Connie. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, we're doubling this guy. Max got that guy. All right, now, to the field. I'm going to start to the corner, the field corner. Okay. He's going to play what we call cut technique. Okay. Uh, when we play cover two, we coach our corners to play outside in cover two. Okay, why? Because we don't carry, right? We don't carry, so we want to force everything inside out, or excuse me, outside in to the safety. In cut, we're carrying two and three. We're carrying them. All right, so now the safety is going to play a little bit what? Wider off the hash. Does that make sense? Okay, because we're carrying the inside guys. So the corner is a support guy, so he's going to come down inside, and he's going to play cut from inside out on the number one receiver. Okay, until the guy got too tight a split that he couldn't do it, right? Okay, and we'll go through this while we do this. Now, the star, okay, star. You play cut on number two. This is how we coach it. This is a verbiage right here. Play cut on number two. Coach, what is cut? You have your guy up the field and back toward the ball. That's it, up the field. We all know what up the field is, and back toward the ball. He's yours. Okay, I got that. What if he goes out? If he goes out, go to number one. That's it. That's how we play cut. It's that simple. Coach, what I got? Money backer. You got cut on number three. What does that mean? You got him up the field and back toward the ball. If he goes out, go to number one. Okay, go to number one. Safety, okay? So we teach our safeties when we play cover two, which is not what we're playing here. I just want to go back. We teach our safeties to play cover two. We tell them the divider's two yards outside the hash, okay? We play cover two, never get more than two yards outside the hash. When we play cut, when we play cut, because we are carrying the two and three verticals, okay, we tell them that they can get four yards outside the divider. So that's six yards outside the hash. Okay, so they're going to get a little wider because obviously we're not carrying who? We're not carrying number one, right? So we tell the corner that he, on passes, he has to rerun pass. He wants to kick slide back into number one, uh, forcing him inside out, uh, but we want him to keep this guy kind of cut off up to 14 yards unless somebody comes to the flat. All right, and we tell the safety, once number one gets over 14 yards, you got to be able to play him. Okay, now your eyes are at the quarterback, but you got to have range to do it. All right, now, all these routes that beat Stubby and Stump aren't any good versus Clip. So this is how this starts going together right here. Okay, all right, so they're not any good versus Clip. All right, so <clears throat> let's look at it right here. Oh, crap, we got one from Knoxville. All right, here we go. All right, so we got Cone up top. Go get the guy, boom. Okay, so now, here we go. All right, now, this is, this is good. You can see we're bringing three up the field. We're bringing two back, right? Now, all right, our offense, okay, is running three guys back inside, okay? When people are running three guys back inside and number one is vertical, okay, clip is not a great call, okay? It's not a great call. This was the only route that we ran, that our offense ran, that gave us problems in clip, okay? But it was so good and took all the rest of them away. Hell, if y'all get it right, y'all get it right. You know, if y'all can figure out what we're doing, then good for y'all, okay? All right, so we wanted, we wanted to make sure, okay, that we ran it. So you can see right now, you can see what you're getting it. You take it from inside out. There's nowhere to go with the ball here if you'd play the right technique. There's nowhere to go with the ball there. 
All right, now, if this guy, normally when people run this route, they don't run dig with it, okay? Now, the reason they're doing it is because I told them to do it, okay? All right, because I knew Georgia, Alabama, and, and Florida, and South Carolina played this coverage, so I wanted to have an answer because I knew as soon as they looked at our routes last year, they were going to say we're in three by one. We're playing clip. I knew that. So I wanted to be able to run something. Well, even though I knew it would be good against our defense, but you got to be fair, right? I guess. All right, here we go. All right, right here. We're playing clip. All right, so <clears throat> I don't know why this corner is bailing at the bottom. I have no idea. But anyhow, it shouldn't be. They're playing cone over here. All right, you can see the money backers taking three down the middle of the field. Okay, all right, we're bringing them back. Okay, look, the corner up top. All right, this is the final five, guys. All right. Remember when I said if we can guard them if everybody comes back, unless one goes vertical down the field, we, he'll be uncovered, right, if he comes back. Most everybody, when they're running these routes, they take what? They take them back quick game, right? Remember the game, there's not much drop back anymore. All right, so the corner's taking what we call the final five. That's why he lines up inside. So he's got to bring the final five back. Nobody's coming to the flat, brings him back. You can see the match right there. Okay, now, hey. They're throwing the ball down there. I don't consider that a, a hard deal by the linebackers. I think that's pretty easy. This is like the day before we played Clemson in the whatever, in the Chick-fil-A or the playoffs last year, and everybody's trying to make sure nobody got hurt. You know how that goes. It's just 14th week of the season. They're just trying to get through. <clears throat> okay, all right. We got another Tennessee deal right here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're playing cone down here. We got the guy cone. All right, you can see this is easy, right? Okay, all right. So here we are. Now, you guys, you tell me, okay? If you were coaching this guy right here, number three right here, I mean, should we have this play played? I know we obviously don't because right, we got poor eyes, okay? We should have this play played on number three, all right? Everybody in this room, okay, if we went to play this technique on number two right here, I think everybody in this room, uh, including Winslet, uh, could play this technique right here, right? All right, so we're inside, inside, the guy's vertical up the field, you got him, right? There should be nothing right here, okay? And I'd be darned if the quarterback ain't throwing it in over here where you, the dude's double covered, okay? So this is why you play, these, play this coverage, is to take these inside breaking routes away. There we go. Here it is. So everybody's running back inside, right? There's nowhere to go with the ball. Okay, so we got the X doubled. Boom, right there. Take them back inside out. Nowhere to go with the ball. So this is why. So remember when I said if you were playing stump or stubby, Coach Spurrier was going to run a happy route, basically double slant by two and three. This takes that away, okay? If he wants to run, if you want to run uh, verticals with three by one, we're carrying them down the field. It takes it away, right? So this is why we have this coverage. Run fits don't change. We get to fit away from the back, period. That's our deal. Get to fit away from the back. Here we go. Let's see. We might get a... One thing that I want to tell you, though, why this is opened up right here, okay? Now... <clears throat> if there is speed, speed, when I say speed, I'm talking about wide receivers, okay? If there is speed at number three, we are not going to ask our inside linebacker, I don't even care if it's Rashawn Evans, we are not going to ask our inside linebackers to carry when there's speed at three, okay? All right? We, we still, we don't change the coverage on the outside, okay? What we do is, is we tell the backside safety to poach, okay? He's going to poach to number three, okay? All right. We do decide if we want to take the linebacker and still let him play clip, okay? He plays clip out, but the only thing is, is does he carry? All right. we, de we decide that each week, and sometimes that depends on who the quarterback is. Because one thing about it, when we start playing these man match stuff, okay, and we're matching these people, and you can see there's not places to go with the ball, all right, we worried about this quarterback, right? 
Uh, these guys that have these quarterbacks that can extend and create. If you can't control them with your four down rush, sometimes we're trying to steal like zone eyes, right? So we decide on that. But when we poach, all we do is the backside safety makes it look just like he's playing cone. And if three's vertical, he poaches over there to him, right? That's it. That's all it is to it. Still got a good disguise. And hey, we all know the corner's what now? Buys what? Now he's earning that scholarship, okay? Uh, and that check that they give him each month, okay? So a kid from Georgia that comes to Tennessee, okay, all right, his check, he, of course, he gets everything paid for, but he gets $8,000 a, a year stopping. And, that, and that's, that's on top of a pail. So, hell, they're making more money than most everybody in the building. Uh, but he's got to earn his scholarship there. So I just want to go over that. That's not speed at three. That's just a tight end flexed out, but I don't know if he'll have it on there, and I want to make sure I went over because I don't want somebody to come out here and, and decide they're going to put clip in in the spring and, Offense puts the best player they got at number three and runs down the middle of the field, and they're like, Pruitt's a damn idiot. Why are we doing that? So, all right, so this is good. People run these routes. Remember, look the star up here. All right, where's two going? He's going out. He goes out, go to number who? One. And it's like 100%, right? You know, two and three go out, one's going to come where? In. Okay, so I mean, I mean, and watch number five right here. This is what I love about this. I mean, I mean, really, guys? I mean, I mean, could not, I mean, he moved three yards. Moved three yards. He literally, I mean, that's all he moved. Just being efficient. Guy runs a wheel. Ain't nothing to it. On the backside, so here, here we're playing Connie, right? So here's Connie. This is the same route that West Virginia ran against us. Pretty simple, right? One thing I'm going to guarantee you, right, is this Mike linebacker right here? Because right, he knew, because I coached him. All right, is when this sucker got short, what's my issues? Common sense, right? Common sense. Okay, I got an issue. Do I have a way to get out of it? Yeah, you do. Make a Connie call. All right, put the pressure on these guys. That's why we recruited them. I mean, pretty simple. Connie call, right? Should be right now. There it is. Now, you get a Connie call like lots of times. I, I'm, I think this is like when Dable was at Alabama as offensive coordinator. I don't know why this back ain't doing it, but lots of times he liked to run these sneaks right here. Okay, this is a big deal with the Patriots. And they like to take this back, stick him right here and follow him. If they do that, the corner's got to take him, right? That's his guy. X goes inside. All right, the backer's got the X. All right, you got the back. So you got to take him all the way back. And it was kind of interesting when the year I worked with him there at Alabama, he's at Buffalo now, but it was pretty interesting that I'm sitting there listening when he came and interviewed with Coach Saban. And he goes through this whole deal that they do, and he's talking about progression of how they go through things. And, and they said with, with Brady that if they started over here, they never wanted to get no further back than to the ball, okay? They never wanted to start over here and end up over here. Thinking, okay, I'm just listening, right? I'm just old high school coach. Uh, then Nick asked him, said, what about movements? He's talking about boots, neckage, you know. He's like, well, we, we got them, but, you know, he said, Tom wasn't very good at them, so we didn't do them. I thought, okay, hmm. So we got the best quarterback probably in the history of ball, and you ain't going to let him go but from here to here. And you ain't going to do this because he, he's not good at them, you know. So I'm thinking, okay, that's pretty damn good coaching. You know, really, you know, common sense, right? So, and here they are again in the, in the deal. They keep changing coaches. They just don't change quarterbacks, you know. All these other players, you know, they keep changing. I saw a thing on Twitter yesterday where when – the Patriots and Brady won the first Super Bowl. What was the ages? Did y'all see that? What was the ages of all the skilled players? Sonny Michelle was six years old. You know, the oldest guy was Edelman. He was 15 when they won their first Super Bowl. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this posse, all posse is, guys, is their speed at three, right? Remember when I said their speed at three? All right, so... 
for us, when we put these things on the board, the blues are running backs, the reds are wide receivers, and the wise are the tight ends are green. So that's speed at three. So posse, that's the check. Instead of clip, hey, check, poach, we just say posse. He knows he's poaching the threes, all there is to it. It's probably one I knew it's Ohio State. Hadn't showed up since Ohio State in 14. So I don't even have to show it to you. Here's one at practice. Oh, this is good. Okay. So we didn't go over bunches out of stump. <clears throat> See, here we go. You talk about these under 30 guys in coaching, right? So if he was going to show a bunch in versus clip, he should have showed a bunch versus stubby and stump, right? Because I'm going to have everybody damn confused when y'all walk out of here. All right, so now we're playing, we're playing clip, right? So let's go back. Corner's got the what? It's got the flats, okay? Star's got two up and in. Money's got three up and in. Well, we got a three-man bunch. What are we going to do? Well, we call sort, okay? We call sort. When we're playing clip, this is the way we play it. Corner's got the flats, okay? Safety's got the half, all right? Those two guys, they sort two and three, okay? So the best way to do it, all right, <clears throat> three's going to the what? Going to the flat. Right now, you can see these two guys sorting, all right? So three goes to the flat. I know I'm going to one. I'm go I got this guy. It's pretty simple. What about if three came inside? Then you got to take him, you got the next one inside. We got a flat player, right? I mean, it's just a way to play the patterns. You can see there's nowhere to go with the ball. <clears throat> if you notice right here, these guys made what? Made a Connie call. This corner's got to go to the who? The back. We ain't got nobody on the back because the corner ain't doing what he's supposed to do. He made a Connie call. Look, he made it right there. All right, there it comes. Backer knows it. He's inside. You got to go match the back. We ain't got nobody on the back. Safety's staying high. 